morning I got an email from somebody and they wanted to know is there a computer program for drawing your own dial? Well, if there is, I don't know about it. I used a program called Corel Draw to draw my dials. And uh, normally what I do is I, I buy them, like, like these. I got these from Craft Time Clockery. And they're really nice and they're really cheap. But if you want to draw your own dial that, you know, maybe it's got your name on it or maybe your family crest or something like that, like I did here, you pretty well got to have a program. And uh, like I say, I don't know of a program that's dedicated for clock dials, but Corel Draw, you can draw almost anything and to almost any size you can print. So uh, let's go upstairs and uh, see if we can uh, get Corel Draw up and running. And I'll try and show you how I do it. Okay, I'm upstairs right now. I'm at my main computer and you're looking at the screen the same way I am. On the left hand side you're going to see a little green icon that says Corel Draw. I'm going to double click that. Okay, now I'm going to click on New. Now I'm going to go to full screen. Okay, now if I wanted to draw a dial, I'd select my circle drawing tool and I'd go like this. Okay, that's basically it. Now I'm going to do this real sloppy here, otherwise it's going to take all day. Well, not all day, but it'll take quite a while. Now I'm going to click on my typing tool. And what I would do is I would type 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Then I'm going to take my pick tool. And I'm going to just move these around. So 1 would be over here. 4 would be down here. 3 is obviously over there, 2 would be something like this, and so on. And uh, now of course because these fonts can be changed, you know, you can make them bigger or smaller, and uh, okay, and you can also change the style. Right now I've got selected Arial, I'm going to take something else, something a little bit maybe, I don't know, different. Okay, that's different. See? It changed the font. So you can change the numbers the way you want them. You can also drag and drop a picture in. I don't know if I have a picture on my desktop to demonstrate it here. I'm just going to just check and see. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the last pen that I did. I finished this yesterday. Let's say I wanted to have that in the... Okay, now naturally it's way too big. I don't want it that big. I'm going to grab hold of it and reduce it down. Okay, so you could put a picture on your dial. Or, you know, a, a graphic like a an owl. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is how I do it. Then what I would do after I get everything uh, in the right place and symmetrical, I print it out. And uh, if you watch that video on the mahogany clock, I think I showed pretty well how I do that. And uh, anyway, that's the way I do it. Uh, there's not a whole lot more I can show you without taking all day. So uh, I hope this explained, uh, you know, what you wanted to know. And in the meantime, happy clock making. You know, uh, making clocks is, is a really interesting hobby. I, I've been doing it uh, probably for well over 40 years. And the nice part about it is you can be as expensive or as cheap as you want. You know, you can build a real expensive grandfather clock or you can make a little cheap mantle clock. And you can use real cheap wood or you can use real exotic expensive wood. It's a, a real nice hobby. And, uh, you know, good luck to you. And thanks for watching.